Artists who spin or weave to create their works will tell you it's a long journey from the fleece to the finished product, and some encouragement is always welcome along the way. Artist Leanne Bushko is a talented artist who has a whole flock of encouraging creatures to help her out. Here's Rob Wiles down at Mistletoe Farm in Franklin. When you're an artist, sometimes it's a little difficult to find raw materials you want to make your things out of, but not for Leanne Butchko, no. She just has to step outside. Right, Izzy? Leanne is an artist who creates garments and rugs, most from fleece from the alpacas that surround her here at Mistletoe Farms in Franklin. Leanne loves her four-legged friends, knows each one by name. This is Savannah. This one was born on April 1st. And that just sort of happened when years ago, some of her friends were thinking about raising alpacas. And I said, what's an alpaca? And then I went, started researching, fell in love, decided that's, I wanted to give it a try. Started out with three, and you know, here we are today. Leanne says alpacas are magic. They just make you smile, make you happy, bring your blood pressure down, um, just give, give you a lot of joy. And people that see them, I think, realize, you know, they bring a lot of happiness. I think they're a very stress reliever. Instead of massage, I do alpacas. Okay, she had alpacas. Now, what to do with them? Well, they have to lose their winter coats every year. This is Alpha having his removed. You know, their body temperature just isn't, um, it doesn't like regulate, re reset itself. Uh, they've all been sunbathing ever since the fleece got off their backs. They'll just lay and, you know, take the vitamin D and just very happy. And the shearing results in pounds of amazing fleece. It's very soft, it's, kind of, it's breathable, it's a kind of a hollow fiber, so it retains your body heat, yet it breathes, so you don't sweat. They say it's warmer than wool, uh, yet it's not the same consistency. It's like it doesn't have the lanolin that wool has, so it's easier to process it. So Leanne decided to be an artist. Took my first class, a weaving class, and decided I needed to do something with all the fiber that just came off their backs. And I've taken over the years felting classes and spinning classes and dyeing classes. And um, about three years ago, started my own organic dye garden. So I grow my own indigo and marigolds and fennel and hollyhocks and that kind of thing. So I can kind of keep it natural and. And that's one of my favorite things. Leanne does it all right here, from fleece to finish. Uh, we can make scarves, hats, gloves. Um, if it's not prime fleece, if it's their seconds, like their legs or their neck even, we'll make rugs, we'll make blankets, we'll make, uh, if it's really not the best quality, it'll be inserts for your shoes. Um, but you can make just about anything you can think of, I mean. All right, give the alpacas a haircut, and then? And then I put it through, I have a little small carter, the same thing a mill would have, but a little baby one, and put it through there to get it all lined up in the same direction, and I can blend it with other things if I want to put silk in it. And dyeing can be done at different processes of it also, but um, if I just am doing white, then I'll put it through the carter and sit down at my spinning wheel and spin it. I can do weaving or knitting. All this is a lot of work. Not to mention the work of taking care of her pals who donate their fleece to the project. But when Leanne gets a little tired or frustrated, those same friends help again just by being themselves. They're all joyous and happy. Uh, some are spitters and screamers and uh, you know, it's, they're just like people. They're very inquisitive. They usually smell you, and so they can sense if there's danger. They're wonderful around children because they know they're never fearful or, you know, afraid of the kids. So you could sit in the middle of the field and they'd surround you. 
Once a year, they have an open house here at Mistletoe Farm, and people come out by appointment anytime to get a close look at these happy animals. Those visits, even the day-to-day -day running of the farm, taking care of her fleece suppliers, working at her loom. It's a labor of love. Every, every piece is unique and um, labor of love. And happiness at a very peaceful place, Mistletoe Farm in Franklin.